the show. Show 2018 in one of the Sound Foundation rooms, and I'm with the MD, is it? MD, yeah. Of Sound Foundations, Chris Green. Chris, Sound Foundations are distributor for some big brands: Furitech, Isotech, Clear Clock. Audio, there we DS go. Audio. Nice portfolio to have, okay. Um, because we kind of take care of of all the bases, okay. Because the Hi-Fi system isn't a CD player and amp and speakers, okay. Yeah, of course. A without cabling and everything else, it doesn't work at all. Yeah, but. It, the quality of the ancillary products will have a huge effect on the end result okay. again. So, for example, Isotech, um, you should probably consider them not an accessory, an integral part of the system, yeah. but also the starting point for your system. Okay. Because, uh, you know, Lynn, Lynn used to preach source first. Yeah. But a source will not work without power. Of course. 
and with poor power it won't work to its optimum mm -hmm. ability. So the Isotech products basically allow you to give your system a, a, a proper stable foundation to work from. Uh, and a lot of people I find who, who don't have an open mind to this kind of thing spend huge amounts of money chasing this sound that they can't have without sure. clean power. Yeah. Um, in the same way, Furitech, again, it's what's seen as accessories, but these make a fundamental difference to the sound of your system. Yeah. Um, and the nice thing with that is people, people start small and they can, they can add incrementally and each time they're spending money, they're hearing an improvement. To me, that's one of the best things about the Isotec range and the Furitech range is that they cater for people with more modest budgets right up to people that are crazy bonkers and really want to push the systems to the absolute limit. And because I am crazy bonkers and have tried to push the system to an absolute limit, I've seen massive gains. And what was really interesting spending the day, uh, day in here filming for Isotec is we had lots of different people in here, full room, all day and everybody heard differences consistently from the different products that obviously we was demonstrating. So even in unfamiliar, you know, difficult conditions, people were still easily hearing the benefits and the benefits. And also with only two components. Yeah, okay. Every component will put noise back onto the mains, which will affect every other part of the system. Yeah. So if you at home have six boxes, yeah. you have much more noise than we have here with our tiny yeah. two box system. Yeah. Uh, and also, like you say, this is a different room. We have noise coming from corridors, yeah. neighbors. You know your system at home, like the back of your hand, yeah. so you're much more sensitive to any tiny changes. Okay. And uh, Bjorn, for example, in his demo made the point that at home, you'll probably expect to hear at least 20, 30% bigger improvement yeah. Yeah. than you will do in strange, unfamiliar surroundings with a system that you're not okay. familiar with. I tell you, I've been looking at this rack all day. It's really nice. Is this a Blue Horizon rack? Is it? Yeah, this is the Blue Horizon professional rack system. Okay. Um, the one we have here is the the entry level one um, for the bamboo. Is series. it really? Wow, it's really yeah. nice. Um, it's available in the single width, okay. so for a conventional hi fi system. Yeah. Um, but it doesn't have to be a conventional hi fi rack. Mm -hmm. You have lots of um, flexibility in the way you structure them. Okay. So there's a, a double width version. What's that for AV type setups, is it? It doesn't have to be for okay. AV. We're actually using it in uh, room 220. Okay. Because I think it looks really neat to have two turntables, because obviously that show we have yeah, to show yeah, different yeah, products. Sure, yeah. um, so you have a nice, clean surface, two turntables. Okay. And it works very well for okay. a hi fi system, AV system. Okay. Uh, you don't even have to use it completely for hi fi. Of course. Just you can integrate so. it into yeah. a nice yeah. uh, contemporary designed house okay. and it will fit in beautifully. So you could have a turntable picture of the wife and kids to keep the wife happy and then you can fill the rest of it up with really expensive hi-fi equipment and keep yourself happy which is what I would do. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Excellent. What about the other brands obviously that you guys distribute? Um, well DS Audio uh, okay. is a very interesting brand. They're, they're fairly new okay. uh, relative to our other manufacturers okay. um, and they make some very interesting products. Okay. They have designed a, an optical cartridge. Okay. So. Um, Moving magnet, moving coil design relies on a magnet and a coil, different positions depending okay. on which it is. Um, so you've always got a magnetic field inside this cartridge. And you're also limited to the, um, the way it generates the, the signal because uh, bass, for example, is a slow movement, okay. which generates a very tiny signal. Okay. High frequencies, much, much larger. So you have a lot of processing and equalization to do in a phono stage. Okay. With the optical cartridge, you don't have any magnets or coils inside. So you've already lost this magnetic field that's going to mess around with your cantilever to okay. a certain extent. Um, but you also have a, a constant standardised output. Mm -hmm. um, so what you have is a LED firing through the back of the cantilever oh, okay. onto a photo cell, and the, the shadow that's created by the movement generates the signal. Wow. But a uh, low frequency and a high frequency, it's the same voltage output. Okay. So the actual processing required for the optical cartridge is about 300th okay. of you, what you get for a moving magnet or a moving coil. Okay. And as we all know, the less processing we do, the more of the original signal okay. we, we maintain. So that's really the full process behind that whole design is to try and get a more pure signal from, from the actual record itself. Yeah, absolutely. To, and to it's, it. it's something that was actually tried um, 30, 40 years ago, mm -hmm. but at the time, no LEDs. Okay. So they were using a bulb, <laughs> well, okay, yeah. uh, which means that it was uh, restrictively large. Okay. And the problem with the bulb is it generates heat. Yeah, sure. So it sounds fantastic for maybe 10, 10 minutes. And then as <laughs> things heat up and everything is yeah. a little bit wobbly inside, it, it didn't work. Okay. But now, of course, we have the technology to actually 
create this okay. and make it work. So it's like pure consistency then, product to product and throughout, throughout its whole lifespan. Absolutely, okay. and uh, here at the Bristol show, they've launched uh, a product called DSW2, okay. which is sits in the middle of their range. Mm -hmm. um, depending on your budget, yep. it's uh, not crazy expensive, okay, yep. not inexpensive, yeah, sure. um, but it's at a fantastic level. Okay. Um, the other, the other product they launched literally a month ago is a uh, ST50 wow. stylus cleaner. Now, can I have a look. Is that okay? Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Is there anything I can break? Because I'm quite clumsy. No, no, no. <laughs> you'll, you'll be fine. It's pretty much uh, indestructible. Um, can you pull the top off, do you? Yeah. Oh, well. And basically, what you have there is you have ure urethane resin, okay, um, which is used in kind of lab environments, for okay. clean rooms, um, yeah, and that that basically. Uh, is designed to sit on your platter. Okay. There's, a, there's a very nice leather base, so okay. you're not going to scratch your expensive platter oh, okay. or anything like that. It's a very low profile, so you can simply move the cartridge over, oh, wow. okay. lower the arm, and then the only force that's acting on the cantilever and stylus is the preset tracking force. Okay. If you imagine with a brush, you're basically beating up your cantilever and stylus. Oh, uh, I see. Because so that's the alternative way of cleaning, use a brush or... Yeah, that, that, that's the conventional way. Okay. Okay. Maybe a little okay. bit of cleaning fluid as well, okay. and a brush. Yeah. Um, whereas this, uh, it basically will only um, affect your cantilever with the preset okay. tracking force. It's also uh, completely washable, so you can use this for years. Okay. If it does start getting grubby, you rinse it with water. Okay. Leave it to dry, and it's as if you've got a brand new product. This might be a really basic question, but not being a vinyl man, what is the benefit of cleaning? Um, well, if you, if you imagine um, you build a roof, yeah. and you've got a, a, t a, a stylus, yeah, okay, yeah. If, if you've got fluff, air, debris, okay. dust, yeah, yeah. this will actually affect the movement. Okay. For example, if you've got something underneath the stylus, it won't be able to sit properly in the groove. Okay. Um, so what would be the sound benefit change you would get from that? So you you will hear distortion. If you've got a okay. dirty cantilever, a dirty stylus, you will okay. hear distortion. Okay. Um, to varying levels. I mean, I've seen some where you've got effectively a fluff ball on the end, oh, and wow. it's, it's like, <laughs> <laughs> they're talking through a, you know, a mask. Okay. Um, so we're talking vinyl, Clear Audio is another one of your obviously brands that you guys distribute. Clear Audio is um, a, a lovely band to distribute. It's, uh, it's a family company. Okay. So uh, Peter Suki started it in the late 70s. It's now run by his three, well, two sons and one daughter. Okay. Um, and everything is made in-house. Is it really? So you have 100% quality control. Okay. Even the metal is machined yeah. in-house. Well, that you, beautiful metal works machined in-house. Absolutely. Oh. Oh, well, well. And um, it's not cheap doing that in Germany. Okay. If you if you think they could save a substantial amount of money yeah, getting it imported yeah. from China or yeah. Taiwan or somewhere, but they won't do that because okay. then they haven't got control. Yeah, yeah. Um, they also make turntables for other manufacturers because okay. they have the knowledge. Yeah. So Marantz, Macintosh. Oh really? It's a clear okay. audio, clear audio turntable with a different badge on it. Okay. Um, and what we have here is uh, the entry level. Okay. So we're not scaring people with um, a statement yeah, at 150,000 yeah. pounds. Yeah, of course. Um, the Concept MM mm -hmm. comes completely uh, tone arm, cartridge, all aligned and set up in the yeah. factory uh, for 995, so 100,000 pounds. Okay. 000, okay. And, it's and that's ready to go, is it literally out of the box, ready to go? Out of the box, ready to go. All you okay. need to do, put the belt on, put the platter on, and level it. Okay. It's, okay. it's that simple. It's is, that, is that a simple process then, doing that, is it? Okay. Absolutely. All you, okay. And all the tools are included, so you get oh, your bubble level. Yeah. So it's a five okay. minute job. Okay. So you get clear audio sound for under a thousand pounds. Absolutely. Seriously. Yeah. Wow, that's and we've been getting some fantastic feedback. Okay. So I think it's award winning. Is that the award winning uh, recently? Yeah, that's, that, that, that's, I think that's one of the, uh, what, Hi-Fi Awards? Six or seven times. Oh now. wow! Okay. I'm not. I'm not sure if that's a record for an individual product, but <laughs> still mean, very good, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely, yeah, very good. Absolutely. So that, but that goes from entry level at a thousand pounds right up to some of the actually the best looking turntables I've ever seen, and probably the best sounding that I've seen at the shows that you've done previously. The you know, um, the high fire show live that you do, the, the, the demonstrations you do there are always incredible, and it's always that final turntable that just I can't stop looking at. It. Yeah, so tell it, us about those. It, it would be really nice to have the statement, which is their oh, flagship yeah. turntable here at the show, but unfortunately getting getting 400 kilos of turntable on two pallets up on to the second floor of Marriott is, is not okay. an easy job. Yeah, sure. Um, and also, uh, we're, we're trying to show something that is actually a realistic prospect mm -hmm. for a lot of people who visit, okay. not just a handful of people. Okay. Um, 
the, the system we have is, is, is a real world budget, I would okay. say. Okay. So to almost anyone who, who knows iPhone is into iPhone, yeah. it will still scare the person on the street who uses his iPhone and a pair of earbuds. Yeah, of course, it's not into But it, it's, no, yeah. it's, it's not. Well, obviously I was in there yesterday filming, wasn't I? Uh, actually, it was with, with obviously someone else, but it was sounding fantastic. He was using Larson speakers. Yep. You want to tell us about those? Yep, Larson speakers, which you can see behind me, <laughs> maybe, um, uh, are from Sweden. And uh, they're, they're very unique. I mean, the, I, have a, I have a huge issue with um, the way people use a lot of their speakers. Okay. So this is, this is a, a, probably an average lounge size okay. in the UK. Yeah. And with a reflex boarded speaker or something similar, mm -hmm. you can't have your speaker against the wall. Yeah. So effectively what you do is you, you lose space in your lounge to have the right sound. Yeah. But what happens mostly is you have a compromise yeah. because someone else in the house doesn't want to have the lounge Overtaken, if you yeah, like, by course. your products, yeah, uh, by your hi fi. Yeah. Um, so, these are a perfect solution for a real world, relatively normal yeah. size room. Yeah. Up against the wall, mm -hmm. uh, with the correct spacing, yeah. they create a, um, a really, really large sweet spot. Yeah. Um, it's an ortho acoustic design, so you okay. don't have the conventional straight firing yeah. boop, 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 yeah. just at you. Um, as you can see, we have a, a special angle. And okay. uh, we also have tweeters here firing upwards. Which that's that's the really interesting the part because you can't see them. That's the bit that no yeah, one this would is, know this is this is this is this is why you need to explain yeah, to, to people. We yeah. do actually have um, for when we have larger space at demonstrations and hi-fi shows. Yeah. We do have another speaker purely for visual purposes. Okay. So you know we can rip, uh, okay. show people yeah, yeah. what's actually inside. Okay. They wouldn't want to do that to these. Yeah, um, <laughs> definitely not until the end of the show. Anyway. <laughs> um, yeah. This this orth acoustic design. Okay. Um, like I say, gives you a really large sweet spot. It does. And, and I am extremely fussy when it comes to having a sound stage in front of me that's correct. And generally what that means is you have a single seat somewhere in, in the listening room and you sit there and you have to, tiny adjustments make a big difference. The compromise people come out with will, will give you this issue. With the Larson, you can have a whole sofa. You, yeah. can, you can stand up, you can move around, you, you maintain the stereo image. Okay. Um, and especially if, if there's more than one person in the house that likes listening to music, <laughs> that will probably make your life a lot yeah. easier. They're also really dynamic sound, aren't they? Big sound, dynamic, really good bass. Very, I mean, these, these are the Larson 8, which are the, the top of the line currently. Okay. Um, the, the, the Model 4 we have in the room down the corner yeah, with yeah. the clear audio, yeah. are 11.95. Okay. Uh, and for the money, it's I, really modest price, isn't it, yeah. for that performance? Yeah. Absolutely, with all the convenience of the positioning, mm -hmm. the large sound stage, yeah. and it's it's an impressive sound, not only for the money, but for the size of the yeah. units, and it's it's a it's a real world loudspeaker. Yeah, yeah. Um, it, it, another bugbear of mine is measuring things in an anechoic chamber. Okay. Who who lives in an anechoic chamber? Why why is that relevant? I'm the only person who does. I think. <laughs> yeah, everyone else does. But, but, yeah. You know, it's yeah, sure. it's it's a, a bizarre way of coming up with yeah. some figures. Right, um, look at that beast of a power cable. That is, to me, personally, really I love power cables, and that's a really exciting one. So tell us about that, Chris. Well, this is the, the new Ascension power cord from Isotech. This is the, the flagship power cord. Okay. Um, Isotech basically don't believe in coming up with a cable, putting on a random price tag and saying, hey, this is the best thing ever. Yeah, yeah. Um, this is uh, 3,000 pounds, just okay. under. Yeah. So it's, it's not, uh, inexpensive or entry level, but um, the quality that this will mm -hmm. give your system, yeah. you have to hear to believe. Mm -hmm. um, what you have inside here is um, four mil squared uh, Ono cast copper yeah. conductors, silver plated okay. in a virtual air dielectric. That's the interesting part. How is that? Do you know that process is manufactured? Do you? I haven't seen it in manufacture. Okay. I'd be very impressed to. Um, but effectively, you've got a you've got a, a conductor with a, 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 a string of FEP that's wrapped around it, okay. and then a dielectric on top of that. Yeah, yeah. So there's, as it says, a virtual air dielectric. Yeah. There's no contact apart from the FEP strip. Yeah. So it's like dielectric. minimal contact between the conductor and Absolutely. the dielectric. Okay. Um, the other thing is this is uh, shielded, uh, like you wouldn't believe. Effectively, is that each individual conductor is shielded? Did I read that correctly? Yeah. I've basically, seen that basically you have you have obviously live neutral. Yeah. Earth, yeah. yeah. Each wrapped uh, in the FEP, dielectric on top. Okay. And then shielded. Each so each individual conductor. Each one is individually wow, shielded. Yeah. You then also have um, air spaces okay. to, to further distance the outer dielectric yeah. from the conductors, yeah. and uh, an, an additional shield again. Okay. So, if you um, you know if you look at kind of leakage yeah. 
there is none. Okay. If you've ever got one of those tester things to, to find out if you've got something in the wall, yeah, of course, yeah. you can hold it next to this <laughs> and it doesn't read it. Okay. Whereas if you get a normal black yeah, power cord, yeah, sure. it goes off the scale a metre away. Okay. Okay. Um, and what that effectively means is behind the system, even if you try as hard as you can, you're basically going to end up with a bit of a spaghetti junction. Okay, okay. Um, which means that you've got cables running against cables and each one is interfering with the other. This isn't me blowing the Ascension's trunk. Okay, yeah. This is just won the Hi-Fi Plus 2017 award. Okay. So it, um, it does the business. Yeah, I've had a demo of it. It was really something, really special. So just one, one question before we finish. What is that designed for? Is that designed for power? Obviously designed for power. Is that designed for power conditioners? Is it designed for products like components, CD player, streamer? Where, where would you use that? Ideally, if, if you can stretch to it, everywhere. Okay. Um, because again, if you, if you have three cables in your system yep. that are interfering with others, that's still causing an issue. Okay. Ideally, you start from the wall socket yep. into your power yep. conditioner, then the source, Perfect, yeah. amplifier, and run through the system. So it's not, spe it. not specifically done just for power conditioners, it's designed for everything. Absolutely. I mean, if, if, if you have, for example, a one box system. Yeah. Perfect. Cheaper than a 10 box system. <laughs> well, it could be, depending on the boxes. <laughs> yeah, fair um, Chris, mate, thank you very much for your time. Really pleasure. appreciate it. It's been a really great demo. Both rooms at the show have been fantastic. You know, obviously, you'll see videos uh, that we're obviously we've created for both rooms. Hope you enjoyed them. It's been a really great show so far. And thank you very much for your time. Appreciate it. Thank you, Chris. Thank you very much.